What's up, my fellow humans? Sensei Lex is alive again, and we are back making videos. I hope I'm not particularly sure yet because I am doing other stuff on behind the scenes. But today we have a video game for you called the called the hospital. Now. This is a game I found on itch.io. Not really sure what's it about, but that's why we are here together. We are gonna find out. I have my chocolate. Are we gonna play? Yes, yes, I have headphones. Adjust the brightness using the bar above until you can barely see the word crooks. Alright, barely. That's like this. I could see it vaguely. Okay. Limited range of motion here. <clears throat> When the virus got me, I was hoping I would be among the majority who would get only mild symptoms and recover quickly. But my condition grew worse day by day. I checked into this hospital last week, barely able to breathe. I paid a lot to get a private room, and when I was lucky, they managed to find this one. There are no vacant rooms in the ho there are no vacant rooms in the hospitals across the country as the pandemic wreck wrecks havoc. It's a pandemonium out there. So many sick, so many dying. I feel like I become a number. A statistic. A statistic. A statistic. A statistic. Fuck. I think I'm growing sicker. I feel faint and weak all the time. Yesterday at night, they had ex they had to increase my oxygen intake. I heard them talking about they. I heard them talking about having to put me under to intub intub intubate me if my condition deteriorated further. I can't speak today. What if I don't make it? It would be a horrible way to go dying alone in this room. I was never a believer in God or in heaven or in any of those fairy tales. I wonder what happens to a person after they die. I never really stopped to think about it until now. I guess I was too busy living life and chasing shadows to think about death. I'm feeling so weak. So weak. I think I'll sleep now. I can barely breathe. And just slowly close your eyes into the eternal slumber. slumber. I'm up. <laughs> How am I on my feet? I can't remember getting out of bed. Walk around using the WAS to look around with your mouse and observe your surroundings by clicking on objects in the world. The game saves automatically. You do not need to save the game or can resume where you left off. Okay, cool. Uh, My bed looks like as if it was recently made. When did I get off it? Who came in and made it? I don't remember any of it. The rest of the room looks neat too, as if this room was recently vacated. I spent days on this bed, struggling to breathe. It feels weird to be up and about. Chairs for visitors. Except being in quarantine, I had no visitors. So this is like Corona? Is this the coronavirus? It's silent. I remember the doctor and nurses hooking me up to this thing. It's infernal beeping, the hiss of pumping oxygen. It's one of those terrifying things in a hospital. All the machines whose purpose you don't know. I think the cabinet. The bathroom door appears to be locked. Nothing there. Nothing there. Okay. 
All right, that got me. Got me a little bit. That person out there. Maybe a doctor? I need to find out how I'm up. She went that way. So let's not, where is everybody? When I checked in here, these corridors were abuzz with activity all day and night, filled with nurses and doctors and patients. It's dead silent now, unnerving. They can't run, right? Locked, strange, there are no signs. I could've swore there were signs beside these doors. Cardiology, obstetrics, st radiology, etc. Why are the windows up? What's with these words, man? Uh, up, up, cock, up, okay, up, okay. I can't see a thing through them. Ooh, this is. Oof. So I'm guessing green light means that's open, and the rest of these should be locked. Locked, that's odd. There are no room numbers on the doors. I'm pretty sure I've seen room numbers when I checked in. Yeah, and the rest of these should be locked too, I'm assuming. Yup. Yup. CO just like the other ones. I don't know why, I thought there was going to be a jump scare there. Great. When I checked in here struggling to breathe, there were two harried but kindly nurses sitting behind this desk, answering calls, filing papers, welcoming patients. They sure had their hands full. No luck. Didn't these doors open out to the lobby with the elevator? That would have been my way out, except it looks like I can't leave this way. I should probably find another way out. God. I'm jumping with every slightest reaction, and I hate it. I hope there's no chase scene. This is not a good video to come back to if there's a chase scene. I need some chocolate. You're flicking a little too much. These patient boards, why are they deserted? Just gotta. <coughs> my life flashed before my eyes. There's gotta be someone, a nurse or a doctor, who can help me and tell me what's going on. Someone on the other side of this door. The music stopped. Okay. This room just looks like the one I was in, but it's a mess. How awful, there's some kind of stain. I guess the bed wasn't cleaned after the patient departed. Departed. That figure. That sound came from out there. Oh man. I saw something on that figure. Figure silhouetted against the noise. It reminded me of. No, it can't be. I must be imagining things. Maybe that's what this whole thing is. Some lucid dream of having all still laying in bed in some kind of coma.
getting adjusted to the to the jump scares now. It's been a while. It's been a long time since I played a horror game. This door's open. Hello. We shut the door to the body and there's a corpse. If this is a dream, it's going increasingly disturbing. Is someone toying with me? Am I being led? That figure I saw. It can't be her. This is a dream. A nightmare in which I am trapped. How can it be her? They did not pay enough for the electricity bill, I see. What? How? How did I get here? I recognize this place. The furniture and the way they're arranged. This looks like an apartment where we used to live, except everything looks abandoned and gone to rot. There's something on the table there. It can't be. It can't be her. I can't see her face, but I know her anywhere. How is this possible? She's been dead for four years. Uh, was I supposed to know? I don't think I was supposed to know anything. Um, Nia, is that you? That familiar silence. This can't be happening. This is some monstrous dream. Memories of the horrific events of four years ago are coming back. The doubt and the guilt that have haunted me since. Could I have saved their life had I done things differently? And at what cost? Uh, I'm sorry for what happened, Nia. Only cold silence. What does she want? <laughs> Am I going crazy? Or is this some fever dream seated by my past while my body lies wasting away in a coma on a hospital bed? Yeah. I remember this picture. We had taken it out by the beach just after yet another bitter fight. She was 24, but by then... She had already begun to show increasingly frightening signs of mental illness that would later consume her. Erratic violent shifts and temperament bro brooding silences, fixed stares, and obsession with my whereabouts, self-harm. I tried to get her help. She refused. When it was clear she was becoming a danger to the both of us, I ended our relationship. And then it got worse. A lot worse. The phone calls, the stalking, the threats. And finally, I woke up one night to find her standing over my bed, staring at me. Her dark eyes, empty and unreadable. Her mouth stretched in a chilling grin. And when I saw what she was holding in her hand, I knew. I knew Nia had to save the world. Makes sense. This apartment is where she and I lived together before we went to hell. Now we're back at the hospital. What is this place? West, 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 west. I feel like I'm gonna knock on my chocolate. I just feel like it's maybe, maybe it's my expectation, but I just really do feel like there's gonna be like a scene where it's just like intense.
it's intense, and I'm gonna knock over my chocolate. Oh, I just realized it's a corpse. A dead body. Abandoned this corridor. The stench here is terrible. I should move on. That body's gonna get up right behind me. Doesn't budge. find a way out of this nightmare okay they got they got they kind of got me that one I can't see you probably probably saw my shoulder jump or something there's too many bodies and I don't like it when the when the thing goes to cold silent it's too quiet I got scared. I thought someone was there. On that night, four years ago, when I woke up to find her standing over me, she was holding a knife. As I watched, she raised it and held it to her own throat. She said, I don't want to live without you. Before she could hurt herself, I leaped at her, grappled the blade away, and subdued her to her. The authorities arrived. They put her. They put her away in an institute, a mental hospital. And a week later, I got that terrible call. Damn. So she ended herself at the hospital. Why her toe so pink? She got a real quick manicure and pedicure before she died. Yeah, oh god. Why'd you do it? Why'd you have to go out like this? They told me you had written a note on your left. You left. Written on the note. You left. Your last word. <laughs> what did you want from me, Nia? I did what I could. Why are you tormenting me? What do you want from me? I think of that note you left, the last word you ever wrote. You wrote, I'm never gonna let you go. Never gonna give you up. Oh, I forgot the song. I know those words were meant for me. This is what this is about. That if I had done things differently, perhaps being more compassionate, you might still be alive. <laughs> Why she ran like that? There's more? We saw she ran, she was like... Back in my room. How did I get here? Nia. The bed, uh, the bed I was lying on fighting for my life. I'm not my trial. I'm just so drunk. That's a nightmare. I, I'm not gonna click all everything. Do I dare go out there? What will I find? A bustling hospital. Smiling faces telling me I'm better and I could go home. Or shadowy halls haunted by my past. Am I in a coma, trapped in a body that that is wasting away while I suffer a fever dream, born of guilt? Or am I dead and this is my afterlife? 
these dread hallways and the tormented soul stalking me for etern all eternity. So, oh, and here it was. I was about to continue on. That was the end of the hospital. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe as always. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Uh, be sure to click the notification bell. Because when I upload it, it's very, very random. I do not have a set schedule yet. So we're going to see how that goes. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy my content. Any more ideas, remember to type them down in the comments below. And just, yeah, stay tuned for the next video. Adios.